Ah, Giga Bowser. The nightmare fuel of every little kid playing this game, and one of the only tournament banned characters in the entire game. Giga Bowser is quite possibly the most broken character in the entire game, and maybe even the series. Having only two losing matchups and outright destroying everyone else, Giga Bowser is absolutely nothing to scoff at. Giga Bowser has two drastically different ways to go about winning neutral. First, you have the hyper-aggressive Giga Bowser that takes full advantage of Giga Bowser's incredible range and completely shatters the opponent's attempt at defense. On the other spectrum, you have the hyper-defensive Giga Bowser that abuses his inability to be grabbed, his spectacular out-of-shield option, and his incredible range to stuff out any attempts to approach him. Both are terrifying in their own rights. Giga Bowser is thought to have only two losing matchups, Peach and Jigglypuff. Peach is bad because Down Smash does an absurd amount of damage and landing multiple hits is very easy on Giga Bowser due to his size and weight. Jigglypuff because resting Giga Bowser is extremely easy, and I mean so easy that it single-handedly makes the matchup winning. In fact, Pound into Rest is a true combo. Giga Bowser's easiest high tier matchup is Captain Falcon due to Captain Falcon's recovery being a command grab. Because Giga Bowser cannot be grabbed, it makes edge guarding Captain Falcon trivial. Other easy matchups include Sheik, Ice Climbers, and Ganondorf because their grab games are nullified against Giga Bowser. The rest of them against high tiers are either even or slightly winning. Giga Bowser beats low tiers incredibly hard. Most low tiers either struggle with defense or offense, and Giga Bowser can capitalize hard on this due to being very good at both of them. Giga Bowser's attacks pack a punch, although ironically, a lot of them are actually weaker than normal Bowser's. Regardless, Giga Bowser doesn't struggle to secure KOs at all. Giga Bowser has the worst movement in the game, and not by a little bit. Having 30 whole frames of empty landing lag, a 6 frame jump squat, a terrible walking speed, and a terrible running speed, a mediocre wave dash, and being absolutely humongous lead him to being practically immobile. Giga Bowser has the best range in the game, hands down. He is easily able to space out characters like Marth, so long as he doesn't mess up and get rushed down. And even if that does happen, he has a signature up B, which actually launches sideways instead of upward which puts Giga Bowser back in his comfort zone, away from the enemy. Giga Bowser has a stellar recovery, being completely invincible for a large amount of time and also traveling a long distance. This can be exploited, however, as he cannot grab the ledge if he's facing away from it, and it's very laggy if he lands on stage. Giga Bowser is incredibly heavy, and combined with his very good recovery, Giga Bowser can stay alive well into the 200s, which is an absurdly high percent to be living to. Giga Bowser's incredible range makes up for his very slow nature, which leads to him having a solid offense. Up B is also an incredible tool for approaching, which aids his approach if he's being camped out. Now this is where Giga Bowser truly shines. Being unable to be grabbed, having the best out of shield option in the game, being so so heavy, having incredible range, and a super annoying projectile make Giga Bowser easily the best defensive character in the entire game even capable of shutting down the best offensive characters in the game like Fox and Captain Falcon without even breaking a sweat. Giga Bowser is truly a defensive behemoth. Giga Bowser is your main if. You like being able to switch your playstyle on a dime. You enjoy playing big, slow characters with large range. You like having a get out of jail free card. You only play casually with mods because you cannot actually play this character in tournaments. Holy shit, why did I even make this video?